Okay, so in this video, I am going to be running you through my retrotrutide protocol, the dosing, uh, what else we got, the storage, the mixing, what to do, basically, retrotrutide 101. So here we have a 12 milligram vial of retrotrutide. We have two options. We have the 24 milligram and we have the 12 milligram vial. Now, both of these are exactly the same. There's no difference in strength. It just means you get double the amount. So the 24 just has double the amount. And as you can see, it is powder, it is freeze dried powder. So a lot of people will message me going, oh, it's clumpy. It should be, that means there's no moisture in it whatsoever. Okay, so it's gonna turn up clumpy. I'm gonna show you exactly how to mix it right now. And I also have, here's a 24 milligram vial that I made earlier, just so I don't have to wait about for it. As you can see, it's just clear liquid. Now, I have here, bacteria static water. Now, because I have a 12 milligram vial, what I am gonna do is add a whole one of these, which will be one mil. This is a 29G one mil insulin needle. I need to add 1.2 mil of water to, from this to the unconstituted uh, 12 milligram vial. So I'm gonna do a whole one of these and then I'm gonna do up to the 20 units, okay? Because the 20 units is 20, uh, 0 0.2 mil. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna take the lid of the 12 milligram. I am gonna use one of the alcohol swipes, swabs, whatever they're called. Uh, where, where have I just put that? There we go. I'm gonna use one of these. I'm gonna wipe the top of this. I'm going to wipe the top of this, okay? Take that off there, and as you can see, it's just a very small insulin needle. So what I like to do is take a little bit of air, just a little bit, pull it back just a little bit, and then inject that air into here. Now, as you can see here, this, this is like a rubber seal on it, it's like a vacuum. You can stab this as many times as you like, okay? It's, it's not gonna go wrong with it, nothing's gonna come out with it. It's medical grade. So I'm just gonna push that air in and then I'm gonna fill the whole one of this up. You see here, just coming out. Obviously you can't really see it now because it's just like filling with water, so it's just clear liquid. I'm just gonna put a whole one of these all the way to 100 units, which is one mil. Okay, so now I have one mil in here. Okay, so as soon as I put this into the 12 milligram vial, what is gonna happen is this is gonna start going into it really, really fast, and I don't want that to happen. So I'm gonna hold like this bit here, and I'm gonna control it. I do not want to put water directly on this. I don't want it to spray on it, because if I spray on it, it can damage it. So I'm gonna hold this, I'm gonna put it in, and I'm gonna tilt the vial, okay? I'm gonna tilt the vial here, okay? And then I'm just gonna let it go down the side of it, okay? Focus, and as you can see, it's running down the side. It's not going directly on the liquid. And I'm just slowly letting that go, and it's going on the going down the side. There we go. And as you can see now, it's starting to dissolve. Okay. There we go. Perfect. So there's one mil in that now. I need to add an extra 0.2 mil, which is 20 units. On here so I'm going to redo it again squeeze the air back in and I'm going to take 20 units out there we go nice nice and quick so now we have here 20 units 0.2 mil and again I don't have to worry too much now about spraying it on there because it's already liquid so I'm just going to put this in here you have to try and make it sure it's dead center so it goes in because he has things to stop it each side Sorry, low battery came up on the phone, if it just stopped there. And I'm gonna spray that in there, okay? Now, that as you can see, is a focus, focus, focus. It's clear liquid, okay? That is clear liquid. I'm just gonna adjust this so it's level. So that is clear liquid now. I am gonna just leave that alone for 10 minutes. I don't need to touch that now. Leave it 10 minutes to dissolve. If you've still got clumps in it, which you may have, just give it, 
a nice tool. Never ever shake it, okay? Just twirl it gently upside down, okay? Let it do its rest, it's gonna dissolve. Now I have a 24 milligram vial here that I prepared earlier. Here's one I made earlier. So I'm gonna get another wipe and I'm also going to get another needle because even though I can use this needle, I've stabbed this twice, I've stabbed that twice, this is going to be blunt, okay? So I'm gonna put that to one side, okay? I'm gonna put the water to one side because I, now I do not need to use this again. This vial, it, the 12 milligram will last about a month, okay? For most people, it'll last about a month to six weeks. The 24 milligram will last about two months for, for most people. It all depends on your dosage, okay? And remember, they're the same shrimp, there's just double the amount. The water can stay in your fridge now. It doesn't need to be touched for another four weeks or whenever you get a new vial. I'm gonna get a new, a new uh, needle here. I'm gonna take this out. There we go. That's there, I'm gonna put it to the side. Every single order made from retapeptide.io, which is my, my site I own, I made it because there's so many scammers who were just ripping people off. Pay me by WhatsApp, pay me by Telegram. We're a UK registered limited business. We, we sell research peptides, okay? And just by the way, none of this constitutes medical advice, okay? I'm a guy on YouTube, on TikTok. You should not be taking medical advice from me. Speak to a doctor, speak to ChatGPT, whatever it is, okay? Do your own research, look into it. I'm just sharing my own experience. Um, I'm just sharing, my, you know, it, this is just an educational video. Do your own research. But every single one of them ordered from retopeptide.io comes with a month's worth of needles wrapped up and bacteria, uh, bacteria, antibacterial wipes. And if you order the 24 milligram or multiple vials, then it comes with water, the 12 milligram does not. So I have this here, okay? New needle. I'm now gonna lift up my top. I'm, just can't, I'm gonna just wipe my stomach. Should I stand up for this? How should I do this? Okay. So, I am taking five milligrams of retitrutide. That is what I am on at the moment, okay? Five milligrams. Now, we all know that each 10 units equals one milligram of retitrutide, okay? Because for the 12 milligram, I put 1.2 mil, 1 mils of water in. So, 0 0.1, 10 units equals one milligram of retitrutide. 24 milligram, I put 2.4 mils of water in, and that now equals 10 units, one mil, one milligram of retta. So I've just wiped my stomach. I'm gonna pull a little bit of air back, okay? I'm gonna put that in here. And I am going to withdraw 50 units, which is halfway on a needle, which is 0.5 mil, which is five milligrams of retitrutide. You only have to inject once a week, you can microdose if you want to, but from everything I've read, an anecdotal experience, people I've spoken to, I don't think there's any need. They really, really don't. Okay, so now I have 50 units of retitrutide here. What I wanna do is very, very gently, I'm gonna hold the top here. I'm gonna actually hold the syringe, I'm gonna hold the bottom. I am gonna push it very, very, very gently. Okay, and you see, I'm trying to let just a single bubble come out. See that little bubble? Fine. Give me a little tap. Now there's no air in it, okay? I'm gonna stand up, it might look wrong, whatever, we'll see. Okay, here we go. I've just wiped here. I am not going to stab myself, okay? I'm not gonna stab myself like this, I'm gonna come from an angle here. And come from an angle, into the side, and in. Doesn't hurt, an insulin needle. Inject that. There we go. Super, super simple. I don't have to worry about that again. I don't have to touch that. I can bin that again. So, one final recap, okay. Bacteria static water. 24 milligram, when it comes as powder, should be clumpy, it's freeze dried. You add 2.4 mils of water into it. You don't directly spray onto it. Okay, you do it down the side. 12 milligram, you, you do uh, 1.2 mil. And then I'm gonna just go over here and I'm gonna talk about a few other things as well. Switch around it. So for me personally, it worked within a day. Within one day, I was starting to feel the effects. I felt, I didn't think about food. I'm sorry, people. I didn't think about food. 
I, I, I just got to like two o'clock and I was like, okay, there we go. I no longer need food. Absolutely fine. No problem whatsoever. Some people it can take two or three days. Some people it can take two or three weeks. If you've been on high doses of Monjaro, more than likely it's going to take a little bit of time and the appetite suppression isn't going to be as strong. Think about it. You've just been on a huge, huge dose of appetite suppression. Don't go on to Retta at like two milligrams a week and think, oh my God, it's not blowing my socks off within five days. Obviously, give it a chance to work, give it a few weeks, let your metabolism start being boosted by Retta, which is what it mainly does, and then you can go up. Once reconstituted, how should you store it? It needs to be stored in the fridge, okay? When it's powder, it can be stored in the cupboard for a very long time. But once it's mixed with water, it needs to stay in the fridge. And it's good for about two to three months. I know some people that use it for six months, some for a year. It doesn't go off, so to speak, but the effectiveness will go down in time and it's just best medical practice, okay? Research purposes only. Um, side effects. You are going to experience side effects if you go up too early. If you jab you, and the next day you feel incredibly nauseous, you know, you're feeling sick, you're getting bad side effects, more than likely you've gone too high of a dose. You need to ride it out for a few days. Antihistamines help me if I go too high and then come back down on the dose next week. So if you've gone too high on two milligram, go to one milligram. I have plenty of people that they've said to me, look, I'm, I'm gonna start on two milligram. I'm like, do one. And they go two milligram and they're like, I feel sick as a dog. Do one milligram next week and they go, oh, this is fantastic. I'm losing lo lots and lots of weight. Fine, okay, but powder, that can stay in the cupboard for a while. If you want it to last years, it can go in the freezer. You can do that, okay. So if you've been on a high dose of Monjaro, start, always start at like one to two milligrams. If you're a woman, start on one milligram. If you're a bigger woman or you've been on a massive dose, then you can go on two milligrams. See how you feel. Don't panic if it's not blowing your socks off straight away, okay? Give it a bit of time. But side effects are just like any other GLP-1. You know, just like anything, if you get ill and you Google it, it's gonna tell you you've got brain cancer and your legs are gonna fall off. It's the exact same with this. Yes, you could get pancreatitis. Yes, it probably leads to cancer. Yes, your left arm will probably fall off. This is, you know what it's like, okay? There's risk with everything. Do your own research, but the reason retrotrutide is the newer version of it, the side effects are much less, from my opinion, much less than Monjaro, but still there is risk with everything. You take paracetamol, there's risk. So just bear that in mind, okay? Do your own research. Um, for me personally, dehydration. I was very dehydrated in the first week or so. I, had to, uh, I was waking up and to chug water. So make sure you stay on top of water, electrolytes, that type of stuff. Avoid fatty meats, okay? I had 20% lamb mints, and my God, I paid for it that night. Just be aware of that. Also, what else? Um, sleepless nights. For the first week, maybe the first couple of days, you're probably gonna have some sleepless nights or broken sleep, not sleepless, but broken sleep. This is because your metabolism is being turned on. So your body is working harder at rest, okay? This is a good sign almost. It doesn't feel like it, but it is a good sign. Your metabolism is being started. How it works is obviously, uh, you might see your weight go up at first, and that will be because your body is holding water. When your body starts metabolizing fat for energy, it needs water to do it, so it holds on to water. So you shouldn't be dismayed, just as a general rule, one of the biggest mis misconceptions when it comes to losing weight. People don't weigh themselves every day, and they weigh themselves once a week, and then they step on the scales after hard dieting, and they're higher like four or five pounds. You should weigh yourself every single day. The reason why is because your body when it's in a calorie deficit, it holds water, and that's the whoosh effect, okay? It holds water because it's metabolizing the fat and then it gets rid of it, okay? So, again, don't panic. You're, in, you're trying to lose weight on a long, long three, four, five, six month schedule, you've got 50 pounds. Don't rush it for the first month. I think I've covered everything right now. Uh, Retapeptide.io, if you wanna do some research, um, obviously it's not for human consumption right now, yada, 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 nothing I've said in this video constitute medical advice. Um, peace.